What's up guys, Zipper here bringing my first tutorial. Today I'm going to be discussing some of the combat add-ons I use and some of the add-ons you're going to be expected to use if you want to roll an R10 man. Go ahead and kick back, enjoy the video of myself and a few of the guildies running a heroic. Please do not think too much into my tactics as I dirt pretty much through the entire thing and the only reason I was able to survive is because I got some OP guildies carrying my ass through this shit. The reason I have it set up so you can see us running through a heroic and discussing add-ons is so you can see these add-ons as they were intended in combat. So without further ado, I'll kick this off with the first add-on. The first add-on I'm going to discuss is Tidy Plates. Tidy Plates replaces the standard blizzard enemy name plates with the fancy looking bar you see above each of the NPCs there. It'll track your dots, allow you to see their cast bars, and health percentages. Now, the reason I use this as a tank, and this is my favorite add-on while tanking, is because I can tank 20 mobs, and I'll know instantly which one I've lost threat on. Green, a green bar means I have threat on the target. If it starts to transition to yellow, I'm starting to lose threat, and if it goes from green to red, that's bad. I have lost threat and need to taunt soon before one of my raid members gets skull caught. This add-on also works if you are rolling a DPS. If you're a DPS and you're using tidy plates, green will let you know that the tank has aggro. And if it starts to transition to yellow or red, you have pulled and hopefully your tank knows to taunt on the target. While I'm discussing threat add-ons i'm going to go ahead and hit up omen omen you can see to the right of my chat box shows threat percentages on a single target this is one of the add-ons that you will need if you are rolling in the 10 man this is why if you're dpsing you can see where you are at on the threat table last thing you want to do is pull 100 percent plus aggro on a boss and have him one shot you or relocate the boss to a position he doesn't need to be in. That in itself is Omen and Tidy Place, the two threat meters that I know about. Next add on I'm going to cover is Recount. Recount is a DPS meter. It tracks all kinds of information. You can see it to the right of my screen shows damage per second, damage overall done, healing over time, all kinds, again, all kinds of information. You can set this thing up to track anything you want, and you can set it up to look however you want. Not one of the mandatory add-ons to use, but I definitely recommend it before you go into a raid. Go slap the target dummy a little bit with this add-on, and you can see where you're at on DPS. The last thing you want to do is go into Raid Finder with 8K DPS. It happens, it shouldn't, but this will help get rid of that a little bit. Oh, well, we got a boss fight here. I'm going to go ahead and hit up on Deadly Boss Mods. What DBM does is it prepares you for upcoming boss attacks. You can see it just above my debuffs. A little bar counting down there. It's customizable, and as a tank, sometimes I tend to get tunnel vision. I need big, bright, flashing things practically slap me across the face. So I know to get ready for an interrupt, blow a cooldown, or relocate a boss to a position where my DPS can attack it. The way I have it set up is, is the bars will pop up underneath my debuffs, fly across my tomb to the left side of the screen. That catches my eye enough so I know, hey, here comes an interrupt skill. Go ahead and interrupt it. good thing about deadly boss mods is it at times also has a voice countdown on it which I find really helpful when tanking bosses like Atraxian. Shoot, you hit a little countdown, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, you know you need to catch your extra bar icon. Go ahead and hit that to relocate into the safe realm if you will. Few bosses have, uh, have that set up so this is one of the add-ons you're going to have to have as well if you were tanking R10 man. Next, I'm going to cover Voodoo. Voodoo is essentially just a healer's add-on. Um, just like Healbot, I use Voodoo. You can see it to the right of my action bars. The reason I use it as a tank is I have almost every skill you can use as a blood DK, as a DK in general, 
on my action bars key bound to a specific letter or number. I needed extra room for my self hills to help alleviate some distress on the healer. So all I have to do is left click or right click or mouse will button click and I will cast a self heal pretty freaking quick. As a healer you can have this thing track some of the debuffs that you can dispel or what have you. I, I'm not a healer so I can't go into all the details on it but I do know you can set it up for uh, all of your your heals as well as set up the UI to make it look however you would like. That is Voodoo again to the right of my cast bars. Here in a second you're going to see Tidy Plates at its best in my opinion. The priest is going to cast Lightwell, and I'm going to know exactly when she cast it, because this little tidy plate is going to come up, and I can transition to it, and then back to the priest. There it is there, it popped up, click on it, kill it, and then back to the priest. Easy to transition between targets just by clicking on it, and make sure I've got threat throughout the entire pack. Anyway, that, again, that's tidy plates at its finest moving on here I've got to listen for me so I don't miss any of the important news ah quartz quartz is another one of my favorites again since I get tunnel vision real bad I need to see again big flashing things and if there's a spell coming up that I can interrupt I want to see it and you can see cast bar or I'm sorry quartz just above my action bar quartz is a cast bar add-on that lets you blow up a cast bar as big as you want put a little extra information into it that you would want you can customize your targets cast bar your cast bar party members cast bar even your pets cast bar a lot of options in this again as a tank I really only need to know my targets cast bar I spread it out a little bit so I can I get a little bit more time in my own mind anyway when I need to interrupt the skill that's quartz cast bar add-on next one I want to cover is gonna be power or classics you can see the bone shield and the oh, where is that? horn winter icons to the left and right of my tune that lets me know that my buffs are up any buffs that I, because I never look at my buffs. So, what I have done and found, Power of Classics allows me to put buffs and other skills, but buffs essentially around my tune. So, as soon as I see Bone Shield drop, as you see, it's not up now, I know when it's on cooldown and I get the chance, I can go ahead and pop that, and there he goes right there, and I got my buffs back. I also have it set up to where my on my trinket procs. I know that I need to spam death strike to get my blood shield to its max. And on that note, I'm going to move into blood shield tracker. If you are blood DK, the best way that I have found to track how much your blood shield is going to heal you for and how much damage you can take as well as a little countdown timer to the very right of it. If you can see it to the left of my focus and my just above my chat box. Two little red bars there right now. You can see the countdown timer on the damage I can take. That lets me know when it gets to about two or three, spam death strike to reset that timer plus increase the amount of damage I can take. So again if you are a blood DK running any heroics or raids, this is the add on for you. Highly recommend. Moving on here, mic scrolling combat text. You see the incoming heals and incoming damage on the left of my tune and the outgoing damage on the right side of my tune. Mic scrolling combat text, you can customize it to make the font appear however big you want, move it around however you want. But uh, the reason I use this add-on is I like to know which skill I'm using crits. Actually, I'm going to pause for a second. I don't want you guys to see this. Pay attention to it. This is the biggest derp of the run right here. I went ahead and marked my targets. I'm getting ready to cast 
death grip. Oh, but I grabbed the wrong one, put my dots up on the wrong one. Just about wiped right there, but like I said, OP guildies carrying me through this. That's the only reason we survived. Anyway, going back to my scrolling com combat text. Yeah, I like to know which skill I've used has critted, how much damage I'm doing with each of my skills. On the left side, I like to know, you know, you're in a raid. I want to see which healers are healing me, which heals they've casted on me, and then obviously the incoming damage from whatever boss or mobs I'm taking damage from. That's Mike scrolling combat text. It looks sexy. It tracks awesome information. Definitely a must-have in my opinions. Not not necessarily to run a ten man, but in general. Uh, if you are running a tank, you can see the red bar above my omen and to the left of my player unit frame. That's called vengeance. It tracks the vengeance buff percentage. How much damage you've taken kind of lets you know where you at on attack power. Only needed if you're a tank. And it doesn't work in PvP since you're, you don't get the vengeance buff anymore. So useless there. Definitely a viable add-on for a rolling tank. Moving on. That is all of my combat add-ons. I'll go ahead and throw one more out there. Uh, you see my action bar. That is Bartender 4. You also got Pitbull 4. What it does, it replaces the standard Blizzard UI, that gay little thing with the little dragon, the silver dragons at the bottom of your screen. Yeah, I hate that. So I went with Bartender 4. It lets you customize up to like 10 action bars as well as um, your XP bar, cast bar, other information. In it. But the reason I got it set up is um, I can have as many, up to 12, I think, bars or little buttons per bar, and as many bars as up to 10. It's a sexy looking add-on, if I say so myself, and I do. I also have it set up there on the right side of the screen. Um, so if you're looking for an add-on that gets rid of the, the gay-ass Blizzard UI, it's Bartender 4. I actually, you can see it above my uh, player unit frame as well. I got four or five bars up there, or four or five buttons up there, one bar. So you can customize this thing as, as detailed as you want. One more add-on I'll cover real quick. Move anything. Move anything lets you move any of the standard Blizzard UI that you can't move on your own or with any of the add-ons you're using, i.e. the Hourglass add-on or UI above my Voodoo. That thing was right smack in the middle of my unit frames. Couldn't see any of the information. My health, the target's health, or my target of target's health. So I did some research, found this add-on, and uh, was able to move information like that. You can move your mini map, any standard Blizzard UI. You can see a giant list in there. Anyway, that covers the combat add-ons and just a couple of the other add-ons I use to set up my UI. If you would like to see a more in-depth UI video or add-on video, let me know. Post it in the comments. Please, if you found this useful, helpful, informative, Say some of the comments and I will go ahead and get on creating another video showing you how to set up your UI like I've got mine. Thanks guys, good luck grinding, and as always, simplify WoW Warriors.